using slope-intercept form to graph an equation, lesson 4.3a. So this is the slope-intercept form of an equation. In this form, it's easy to see the slope m and the y-intercept b. This is the output. The slope is the rise over the run. The x is the input, and the b is where the line crosses the y-axis. We can use this form to quickly graph a line by plotting the point 0 for x and b for y and using the slope to find the second point. So here we have an equation in slope-intercept form. We can see that the slope is 3 fourths, which means we have a 3 for a rise and a 4 for a run, and we know that it crosses the y-axis at 2. First step is we locate that y-intercept b on the y-axis. So 2 is right here. We have 1, 2. So we draw a point right there on the y-axis at 2. That's where x is 0 and y is 2. The next step is we use that m value, the 3 fourths, as 3 for the rise and 4 for the run at that location. So I'm going to count over to the side for the run, 1, 2, 3, 4, then I'm going to count up 3, 1, 2, 3, for the rise, and that's where our point is going to be. Third step, we connect the points with a line. But what happens when we have a negative slope or a negative y-intercept b, or a positive with a negative? I'll show you. Let's walk through another easy one with both positives for the slope and the y-intercept. So we can see that the slope is positive, m, so the line will rise to the right. We know that just by looking at this that it's a positive number for the slope. First thing we do is locate that y-intercept b, that 4 on the y-axis. It's a positive 4, so it's going to be up here. This is 0 for x, 4 for y. Second thing we do is we use this slope, 3 for the rise, 5 for the run, to find our other point. We've got a run, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that brings us here, and 3 for rise, 1, 2, 3, that brings us here. Plot the point. Now, we draw a line through the points from here to here, and we make it continue. That's going to be 0, 4 for the first ordered pair, and 5, 7 for the second ordered pair. Now, in this slope-intercept equation, we've got a negative slope, and a positive y-intercept b. Because the slope m is negative, we know the line is going to fall to the right. So we already know the direction that our line is going to go. First thing we do is find a positive 7 on the y-axis. That's up here. That's 0 for x and 7 for y. We know we have a negative rise over run, a negative 3 over 4. So we're going to go across 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, but now we're going to go down 3 because it's negative. 1, 2, 3. That puts our point right there. And we plot the point. Next thing we do is draw a line through those points from here to here, and we continue. It's going to be 0, 7 for the first ordered pair and 4, 4 for the second ordered pair. Now for this equation, we do have a positive slope, but our y-intercept b is negative. So notice I now have a coordinate plane that's showing all four quadrants. Since the slope m is positive, we know the line is going to rise to the right. First thing we do is locate that negative 2 on the y-axis. It's going to be down here below the x-axis. and We put a point right there. Now, we use the slope m to count the run and the rise and plot the point. We have a positive 4 for our rise and 5 for our run. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then up because it's positive, and that's going to put us here. We plot the point, then we draw a line through the points, through this point and this point, and we can make it continue on each side of those points. We have our first ordered pair as 0, negative 2, and our second point as 5, 2. Now in this equation, we have a negative slope and a negative y-intercept b. Since we have a negative slope, we know the line is going to fall to the right. We already know that. 
we locate negative 3 on the y-axis, which is down here below the x, and we draw a point. Now, we use that negative slope to count the run and the rise. It's going to go down because it's negative. So we've got a 6 that we're going off to the side and a 5 that we're going down. And we plot the point right there. Now, we draw the line through the points, through this point and this point. We know it's going to fall to the right because it's negative. And our first ordered pair is a 0, negative 3. Our second ordered pair is a 6, negative 8. So again, we locate the second point by counting the rise and run, and it doesn't matter which we count first. If we know that our slope is 3 fifths, we can count the run, 5, and then the rise, 3, or we can count the rise first and then the run. Either way, we're going to have the second point in the exact same place. Whether the slope m of the line is positive or negative, the steepness of the line will be determined by the rise and the run. The line will be very steep if the rise is much greater than the run. Here we have a rise of 7 and the run is only 2. Look how steep that line is. We're finished with 4.3a. We're going to move on to the last part, analyzing a graph. Just remember, if that slope m is a negative number, then our line is going to fall to the right. And if that slope m is a positive number, it's going to rise to the right. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and please join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.